Good Prambanon. The Hindu temple built to rival Borbudur. All right, it's official. That right there behind me is the island of Bali. So I've officially driven all the way across Java on a motorcycle. Every single person I've met or talked to said that I was crazy and that it, it's a terrible thing to do and it's impossible, but it wasn't that bad. I think anybody could do it. So a little update on one of my 10 hour drives I had in Java from one city to the next. Uh, I was going down a road in some random village that Google Maps was taking me and it was just a basic road through a village and I was going at a pretty good speed just like everybody else and these two kids on a motorcycle, I say kids but they're probably in high school, um, they just kind of pulled out in the middle of the road and cut me off without even looking. They just pulled right out. And they got to the middle of the road, and they stopped and they looked at me, and their eyes just got huge. And then I tried to go around them and they pulled forward and completely blocked me off. And I ended up T-boning them. And the crazy thing is I flipped over my motorcycle and landed on my feet in a run. It was like the most athletic thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, not a scratch on me. My motorbike was fine. It was just on its side, still running. I look back at them and they're on the ground and their motorcycle is spraying oil. I was like, are you guys okay? Are you guys okay? and they just like looked at me and then they just took off running, left their bike in the middle of the road as it was spraying oil, and they just ran down the road. And then another kid walked up and like picked up their bike and just kind of started pushing it away, like down the road. And I was like, okay, I guess, I guess um, that's how it works around here. So I ended up just getting on back on my motorcycle and trying to drive away. And I found out that my motorcycle was kind of messed up. It was like the wheels were facing this way while the handlebars were facing this way. So I had to stop it some random guy's garage and see if he would help me fix it and he did they fixed it for just a couple dollars you know like they usually do <clears throat> so that's one of the challenges i've had to face uh in the past couple days that you guys haven't seen Here, Dennis. It protects me, right? Yeah, tattoo, Dennis. Here. Shit. Hello, for it. Feeding monkeys. Hello, for it. Yeah. Another time I was on my way back from a temple to another temple and somebody cut me off in the middle of the road in busy traffic and they pushed me into the guardrail. I don't know if you can see this. I've got a pretty big gash on my leg and it's finally starting to heal. And that was pretty bad for a few days. That's another thing that I've had to been dealing with. Ready. <laughs> Balinese, Suksma. Indonesia, terima kasih. English, thank you. Okay, go ahead whenever you're ready. Balinis, Rahajang Samang. Bahasa, Selamat Pagi. English, Good Morning. So here in Indonesia, they speak over 300 languages across the islands. Um, but most people speak at least Bahasa, which is like Indonesian. And then here in Bali, they speak Balinese. And most people speak English too, if, if not also like French and German or something else. These people speak so many languages. But as you can see, I learned a few languages, a few words myself. Uh, Suksama is kind of a Balinese thing and they means thank you. But everywhere else you say Teramakasi and that also means thank you. So if you say either one here in Indonesia, they'll know what you mean. Um, also, Bule means tourist. And so everywhere I go, kids are always like, Bule, Bule, Bule. They're yelling at me and reaching for me, and they're, so they're calling me a tourist, which is interesting because where we're from, you don't you know, yell at people and call them foreigners or tourists because it'd be rude, but here it's just like, 
acknowledging that you are here as a tourist and it's like not rude at all. They just call you Bule uh, or Tamu, which is more of the Balinese way of saying it. And then there's also Rahajang Samang and Selamat Pagi, which means good morning. And then I've also learned a few words for food, obviously, like nasi goreng, which is fried rice, and mi goreng is fried noodles, and ayam is chicken. So I use those words a lot because I've been eating a lot of noodles and rice and chicken. So those are a few of the words I've learned. Quite interesting.